Hi, and welcome to my channel, Overcoming Gluttony. My name is Alicia, and I used to weigh 327 pounds. I currently weigh 261 pounds. And on this channel, I vlog daily, and every week I show you what I've meal prepped, plus all of the food that I have in my household, and we also grow microgreens together. And these are organic fenugreek microgreens that we planted two weeks ago. I know I still have a lot left in the two weeks. I've only eaten one serving and I need to get to munching on these microgreens. So um, let's chit chat about mistakes, mistakes, mistakes errors 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 if you're like me you probably think more about your failures when it comes to losing weight and gaining health you probably don't care to acknowledge the successes you've accomplished Maybe you focus too much on the fact that you've gained eight ounces of weight as opposed to losing weight. Maybe you inflict self-pain through mental distress about your lack of success when it comes to your health. I want to encourage you to make a list of the successful things you've done in regards to your health versus the unsuccessful things. The fact that you're even listening to me speak right now shows that you are motivated towards getting healthy. Why? Because I don't promote fat dieting or crazy antics to lose weight. I promote natural, sustainable weight loss. And by listening to me, as opposed to someone telling you to go get liposuction or pay $3,000 for somebody to freeze the fat off of you or buy this body constriction apparatus that you have to wear for 14 hours a day in order to shrink your frame, you know, or drink this tea that'll help you lose weight or go to colonics four times a day. <sighs> that to me shows that, well, the fact that you're willing to listen to me talk about natural, sustainable weight loss shows to me that you're vested in your journey and I want to encourage you to be more successful on this journey by getting rid of the negativity in your mind about your previous mistakes, 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 errors, errors, errors. I can't promise you that you will be successful. But I do know that it's very beneficial for your mental, emotional, and even physical health if you choose to stop harboring on the past mistakes, 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 errors, errors, errors. That's if you choose to stop, stop. Just imagine if every time you had a negative thought about your lack of success with health, if you gained a pound. So every negative thought equals one pound, gained. How quickly would you stop thinking those negative thoughts? And let's switch it up here. 
let's say every time you thought of something positive regarding your health journey, something positive that you've done or accomplished, what if you lost a pound? Yeah. That's a good way of seeing things. So let's focus on losing <laughs> 10 pounds a day at least by thinking positively, right? And this is in our imaginary world. Yeah, each day tell yourself 10 positive things that you've done regarding your health journey. So I'm going to do that for you right now on camera. One is I started a YouTube channel encouraging other people regarding overcoming gluttony. Two, I choose not to participate in diet culture or America's crazy obsession with anorexia or malnourishment. Three, I've acknowledged the areas that I've come short in a healthy, honest, productive way. Four, I have diligently kept track of my efforts. Hence me telling you, oh, I'm completing my goals at 97% of the time. Five, I've set realistic, sustainable health goals as opposed to goals to just lose weight. I have health goals, not weight loss goals, but health goals. Number six, this is my third month of the year where I've been practicing these health goals and I'm still at it. Number seven, I've lost over 50 pounds prior to 2023. So I've sustainably, sustainably kept off 20, 50 pounds for two years. And in 2023, so far I've lost 15 pounds and 15 inches. Rather than go the course of most of America and eat food that is overprocessed and toxic and containing ingredients that are causing people to get sick. I've chosen to become a vegan even though I really like meat and dairy for my own health sake. Number 10 is I'm choosing who I share my health journey with. For example, many of my family and coworkers don't know that I have a YouTube channel because I'm choosing to keep this where I can be successful and not receive criticism that can discourage me. So I think I just lost 100 pounds, so now I can start telling you all that I weigh 161 pounds. Woo! No, just kidding. But yeah, I just now listed 10 successful things that I've done in regards to my health in less than three minutes. So, you know, just get into the practice. Maybe each day focus on one thing that you've done, but you know, try to start telling yourself the healthy things that you have made progress with as opposed to harboring on the mistakes, 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 errors, errors, errors. Now, I would like to read to you a poem that I wrote. It's titled, He's lying. He's lying. He's lying when he tells you you're not worth very much. He lied when he said you didn't need to cry out for the Savior's gentle touch. He'll try to tell you that friends, family, 
and no one in the church really cares. He'll then send another thought about why people give you crazy looks and stares. He'll tell you that you're not good enough and that none of those Christians are true. He'll say, don't pick up the Bible or go to church. Just do the best that you can do. As God's gentle voice prompts you several times throughout the day, that's not really necessary. Do something else, the deceiver's venom will say. He'll try to convince you to indulge in your carnal desires, saying, life should be enjoyable. You're not headed for eternal fires. Thoughts of hatefulness, revenge, bitterness, anxiety, and dread he'll send in rotations to dictate your actions via your head. He's lying to you. He's a great deceiver and showman, you see. He'll say that God won't provide and that your lot will be empty. Appeal to your flesh. Go after your dreams. Do something that's real. Don't waste your time with that dead church. Touch, see, taste, and feel. He's lying and he's doing a hell of a job. Will you adhere to the voice that seeks to destroy, kill, and rob? Thank you for your time, y'all. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.